you have to do this. Oh. Hi, everybody. It's John and Taylor. Dad on Dogs. <clears throat> uh, today is April 23rd, 2022. Opening day of turkey season here in Michigan. And we're out at my buddy's property again. So, today it is like 7.40 right now. We're a little busy doing, well, watching wildlife. Um, yeah, you'll see a clip here. This, so far, is all we've had in our uh, in our decoy spread. Uh, a goose and a bunch of deer, and definitely not turkey. So, started out this morning. Heard a lot of, or one really loud vocal tom over on the other side of the power lines, and. Uh, yeah, he hasn't said a word in a while. He gobbled for an hour straight and then just shut up. I've heard some shooting. Taylor's feet are cold. The professional hunter. Hunting in cracks. Because she forgot. Her rain gear, too, was raining this morning. It wasn't raining? Yeah, it was. When we first left, it was raining. Anyway, she forgot her rain gear. And her boots. So, if anything happens, we will uh, turn the camera on, update you, make sure y'all get to see it. Until then. It is May 1st, May 1st, um, this will be Taylor's second time out in the blind. Alex shot a Jake yesterday, I shot a hen the day before, so we're hoping we get something for her today so she connects. Um, it rained most of the night, it rained pretty hard, so everything's real quiet. Heard a turkey gobble, maybe about 6.30, way off in the distance, barely heard it, just one gobble, haven't heard anything since. Um, it's 20 after 8, just started seeing birds flying around, like blue jays, cardinals, sparrows, squirrels running around probably 20 minutes ago, there's a deer standing out here about 150 yards away. So. Stuff's finally moving around, so hopefully we'll get something 
Um, if something decides to show up, get the camera back on and say hi to you. If not, well, uh, it's Sunday, so we won't be out till maybe Friday. Um, she has a half day of school. We might try to get her out here next weekend. So, and then if we can tag her out, then we go to fishing. So, which makes Alex happy. He wants he's he's the fisherman. So, um. We'll chat with you in a bit, hopefully. Forty. All the towns have shut up. Ten forty. Yeah, ten forty. All the towns shut up. Quit talking. I haven't said a word in twenty minutes. Had a couple of hens come out. Other than that, nothing going. It's rainy. It's chilly. Taylor's wearing my raincoat because she forgot hers. So. I figure I'm going to get the suffering done now and we're going to clean up and head out and then maybe next Friday or Saturday we'll give her another go. So, um, yeah, until then, we'll see you.
here we are, May 6th, Friday. Kids out of half day of school, so we are uh, capitalizing on that. Coming out in the afternoon, doing an afternoon hunt. I've never hunted turkey in the afternoon, so this is all new to me. It's like 1.30. Um, so yeah, this is your third trip? Our third trip out. Last time was in the rain. Um, one thing you guys didn't see, there'll be a clip of it. You may have already seen it from my phone. We were just getting ready to pack up. We'd stayed till close to 11.30. And we had cameras packed up, bags packed up, bags pushed out of the blind. The only thing we had in here were, we had our decoys out. And Taylor's gun was still in here and still loaded. <coughs> Literally getting ready to stand up and walk out of the blind and a hen walked out probably 150 yards away. Walked out into the field, followed by a big tom, big tom. And we tried for probably 10 minutes. We got the thing to stall. He was following that hen pretty hard. And that hen walked off probably 200 yards, thought we were in, thought we had him. But the hen was better at doing something than, than we were. And uh, lost him. He took off, followed her. So, still have one more tag to fill for Taylor. Alice and I both tagged out. So, we got this weekend, Mother's Day Sunday, I think. We're doing stuff with my mom tomorrow. So, I think we might be able to get out here on Friday or on Sunday even. So, hopefully, we don't have to. But, if anything happens, if anything shows up besides the play, we'll get the camera back out and get going. We're battling a bit of a wind today. So, Hopefully you can hear it, but or hear me. So we'll hopefully see you in a bit. Good morning. <clears throat> we'll make this quick. It's Taylor's fourth time out. May 7th. We're 6 06 in the morning. Lots of times goblin. I'm pretty talkative today, so. And the geese are out. So hopefully we can get this camera going again here in a few and try to smack one of these birds down. But we'll let you know. We're back. And still nothing happening. So it's about 20 after 5. And we have either seen one hen twice or two different hens. I don't know. She wouldn't tell us her name. Um, so we're going to give her another 10 minutes and then we're going to scoot out of here come back in the morning. Hopefully the wind dies down. Doesn't look like it's going to. We're getting 10 mile an hour sustained winds and 25 to 28 mile an hour gusts. So the two times we did see the hens she didn't come out far and didn't spend a lot of time outside the woods, so maybe we'll sit in the woods tomorrow. We do have a blind back there, but Taylor and I are also, I think she's good enough to sit up next to a tree, so maybe we'll give that a try, but unless something pops up in the next 10 minutes, we will uh, see you tomorrow. Shoot it? No. Okay. So that's one time. Do you think they want the five 
cheeks and a hand. A little update, it's 10 after 9. That was pretty cool to watch. <clears throat> and uh, first saw the hen on the big town we've been kind of chasing came out. Heard he came out last night. We were out here until about 5.30. And he came out at 6.30 with one, one hen. He crossed the field today. And sure as heck he's coming in and the little wolf pack of Jake's turns the corner 300 yards out there, catches up to him and stalls him and they end up fighting over the hens and ducking into the woods. Still hear the hens yelping in the woods, so we're still chatting back and forth. They haven't gone too far, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get something soon. Just wanted to give a little update. Yeah, hopefully. Shooting for the boss Tom today. Hopefully we'll see you in a bit. If you can see his head, yes. Only if you can see his head. Keep it on. Get your safety. Safety. What did you just do? Shit, jerky. Hell yeah, you did. <laughs> Gun on safe. Put it out the window. Let's go get this bird. Ah. Hang it out the window. Put it out the window because it's coming with us. <laughs> get this chair out of my damn way.
Alright, so here we are. A little after the hunt recap. It's about a month after. Uh, we're in June. I was going through all the videos. Noticed that I uh, didn't do any kind of ending to it. The dad took over. Uh, dad supersedes the YouTuber, I guess. So, uh, <clears throat> as you'll see on the, the end, there weren't any updates on that last day. That was Sunday. Uh, I believe it was May 8th. Yes. And I forgot the camera. So everything that we did was on the cell phone. Uh, you'll notice when she does get a shot at the turkey, the video cuts out. That is because she was sitting on my knee when she took the shot. And when she recoiled from the 12 gauge, she hit my phone just enough that my thumb stopped the recording. So uh, it was a very nice bird. There's some pictures there at the end. Here are the numbers. 21 pounds and 10.72 ounces. Um, his left spur was 1.375 inches. The right spur was 1.25 inches. And the beard was 10.5 inches. And the score was 68.875. So, very, very respectable bird. I don't know what the scoring all means. That's just... Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, hers scored more than mine. By a little bit. But, uh, anyway. So, that was our 2022 season. Uh, we got the trifecta. All three of us got birds. It was an awesome, awesome season. Saw lots of birds. Um, the day Taylor shot hers, we actually had four toms come in. We had two toms come from behind. Then there were two toms that came from in front. Um, the two that were in the front were in the wood lines. The two that were behind us came in the field and then went into the woods. They met in the middle. Um, I couldn't get any video with my phone. When they actually met, we saw where they met. And they fought for a little bit, chased each other around, and then went their separate ways. Uh, the two times that came behind us kind of hung out. They were working their way in to us. The two that you can see on the video um, kind of went back to that corner. And we literally, we were ready to shoot the ones on the left. They were still probably 70 yards out there working their way into us when we noticed that the other two were in range. But they... Uh, so we were looking at the birds on the left, and then we went to the right, and then we went back to the left, and then we went back to the right. Or actually, we were kind of in between the two, then we went back to the right, and that was when, when she shot. Um, I gave her the green light on that bird. You can see it. There's a quick little video of it walking. It was walking back and forth in the woods, and then if she could see its head, that she could shoot at it. So, but I mean, she took a great shot, um, knocked it down. Um, yeah, it was just overall an awesome experience so uh thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed it like subscribe comment do what you do um i said in the video that fishing is going to start but we went out once and had a motor problem so in about three weeks i should get the boat back and then uh, then the fishing will start so again thanks for watching have a good night